Hey everybody, it's Tech from TSOG with a little bit of gameplay footage from Ready or Not. We've just started playing this game. It's still in early access, but I just wanted to share this video. This is just some single player video of me messing around. But I wanted to share some of the things that I really like about this game. Uh, that mainly being that it is really nuanced and you can play this game really tactically and there's some details here that I really appreciate whether they were intentional or not intentional. They really lend to the realism and tactical depth of this game. So in this scenario, this is a hostage rescue scenario in a hospital and we are, it's just, uh, again, it's single player. So you have a four man team that are split into a two man red element and a two man blue element. And then yourself as a single player, you can kind of act as a team leader. So here we're doing a stealth to contact entry. In this scenario, you're not exactly sure where the hostages are. So at this point in the game, we've moved up. I think that's the uh, red element holding off the area to the right. It's, it's like an ER or something. And uh, again, we're stealth to contact. And I'm going to call up the other two-man team to clear this uh, closed door off to the well, left. You. And they're going to move up there. Roger. And again, it's not perfect. You know, this these are just AI. Uh, these are just AI partners. But uh, for one, the, they look great. Looks uh, looks really realistic. And but they're doing a pretty good job. So you know, ideally, this the guy the guy in the middle there would would move back a little bit, not stand right in front of that door. But hey, close enough. Open. Any other thing? So the, the first guy's going to open the door and he's going to go in. You know, be better for him to open open that door, you know, hinge side and let the part, his partner go in first. <clears throat> and then I follow him behind him. They go up and he the guy on the right is cool. He flags that opening and then he follows his partner over to take the rest of the room. It would be really cool if he actually held on that op uh, open door there. Um, but he doesn't. So I figured, uh, you know, I'll just check it real quick. And then what happens is as they're clearing, then we hear shots fired. We hear shots fired in the back and moving up here. And so I don't know if this was intentional or not. You know, ideally, these AI guys would keep going towards the sound of the gunfire because at, at this time now, at this point now, we're just dynamic. But I can see why they necessarily wouldn't do that. But they did move pretty, you know, in the direction of where the gunfire was coming from. And they post here on this open door. And again, I don't know if this is intentional or not, but it works out like this. I could see this realistically happening and these guys waiting for their team leader to tell them to go or for more backup to go. I need to get up here also to point to where I want them to go. But my, my reasoning here is, hey, get this team up here to clear this uh, area here, you know, sacrificing safety some safety for speed to get get them up there to where the shots are being fired so i'm just going to give them a command to clear, Move in and clear it. here and uh, i should have gone off to the i should have cheated over to the right to give them uh, space to get in the to clear but i didn't so i was actually kind of in their way but my thought here is to hold this area off to the right for them so they can clear off to the left where i think the shots are coming from roger that sir so i'm going to get in their way a little bit And then they go off. It's clear here. So they're going to go there. I'm going to kind of hold off to the right. All right. Stick away. Uh, a good Open partner would be watching that area off to the right better. But actually, I, you know, again, it's not perfect, but I have to be able to give them commands. I have to point at what I want them to clear. So at this point, I gave, I'm giving a command for the blue team to clear the bathroom on the left. I think that's the men's room. And the red team to clear, they get to clear the women's room. So I'm giving them those commands to clear those two areas because I'm sounding like the shots are coming from one of these two bathrooms, probably the men's room, it sounded like. And I'm going to give those commands to them. Like a good partner, I'm going to go back and cover this area over here. And then pretty cool. They go in and shots fired. They encounter the suspect right away. 
What I liked about this is this reminds me of a lot of this reminds me a lot of times in 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 training or other times when you know you want to look at what's what the guys are doing over here, but you know you have your your area of responsibility over here that you need to hold, and you're doing that, and then boom, the action's over here. And of course, this is a game, so I'm gonna follow in and see what actually happened over there. But in real life, I'd probably just keep holding that right side. Or have, you know, if I'm if I'm the team leader, I want to get in there and, and see what what's going on and what we have in there. Then obviously, what would I do? I'd have probably my red team go over there and hold that, or someone hold that, so I can go in and, and talk to these guys in here and make sure that they're okay because they just got in a gunfight, All right? And see what the status of everybody is here. So now we need to secure the weapon. Here's a hostage who hasn't been hurt. <laughs> What you notice here is, so there's a victim here that's down, the guy that he shot, that's the shots fired that we heard. There's not a mechanic to render aid to this victim at all. And that would be really cool if you could, you know, either render aid yourself, tourniquet, chest seal, you know, however, however in uh, detail they want to get it, that would be cool. Or just, just some kind of mechanic to bandage or treat this uh, treat victims, you know, suspects too that have been shot. I, I don't know if they are planning on adding that into it. So, but it would be it would be cool if you know if you're gonna have that stuff in here, uh, why not put a mechanic in here so you can actually help the quote unquote victims here. Uh, I think this guy's probably done already. He, you know, from the time the shots were fired to the time we actually got in there, but the time we could get a medic up to this this poor guy. Or, you know, if one of our guys could treat him, that would be cool too. So, yeah, that is it. Again, this is just a, this is just a single player. But uh, let me get us out of the bathroom here. But, uh, yeah, uh, quick video. I really, really am enjoying Ready or Not. Really appreciating the detail and the, the depth of the, of the game. Hope to see more good things in the future with this game.